So after this, now we will come to the core network roadmap. So please welcome Gentin Nguyen. Um, he is a research engineer at Eurocom since many years already, and also the technical lead of the open air uh, 5G core network team. Before that, he already worked quite uh, a lot on 4G, so both on the run and the core network side. And before all of that, he obtained a PhD also in Eurocom on the topic of multicast mobility. So it's really a long time member of Eurocom. Please welcome him. He will present the core network roadmap. Hey, Robert, for an introduction. Robert, I'm going to see that. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, this well, now it comes. It's the idea. Can you do like this for the moment and then just see everything? Yeah, it's okay. So the question now is yes. Let's go the right left. Okay, thank Robert. Uh, so uh, I'm very happy to be here today again, and and uh, on behalf of the OAI Core Network uh, team, I give you some uh, update on the current implementation status and the roadmap. Uh, so here's the agenda for today. You can skip that because I believe that you already know about the 5G system architecture. We talk a lot about that already, and also the evolution from 4G and 5G. So let say a few words about the OEI 5G core network project. So for this opportunity, I would like to say thank you to our uh, sponsor and also contributor, Quancom Meta Connectivity Interdigital, Eurocom, OSA, BPT, and KCL. Without their support, we cannot have the, the uh, OEI core network implementation today. So for the current implementation status of our 5G core network, so you can see here is a very high level uh, figure to show the, the, the all the component of the, our core network project. So we are very happy to, to announce that in a couple of days, we will release 1.5.0 of the OAI core network uh, uh, release. So we, we will add a new entity PCF, which is uh, uh, requested by, by a lot of uh, community members. So now we have uh, IMF, SMF, UPF, UDM, USF, UDR, PCF, NSSF, and NIF. And also we are working to bring some more entity to the, to the ecosystem, for example, NEF and UDSF. Uh, so we are very happy uh, to say that we have a very solid and functional 5G core network. Actually, yesterday I, I got very po uh, positive feedback from our community that, uh, for example, you can see uh, core network running in a lot of uh, demo yesterday from uh, uh, Christopher from AWS, from Willa, from uh, all the other demo. Um, also, on top of that, we have on several additional features such as uh, uh, NF registration and discovery is very important for the current chip deployment. We have uh, support for end to handover paging and HTTP version 2 and FPDN. And also, we uh, continue to add some event exposure. For now, we have uh, seven events for SMF. We support six events for AMF. And actually, uh, this uh, you can see in the demo by WeLab is uh, uh, the information from the NWDAC is fitted by SMF and, and, and uh, IMF. We continue to add some uh, even exposure for the UDN and, and uh, uh, UDR for the next release. Uh, also, we have some uh, basic, very basic support for the, for the 5G network, um, uh, private 5G network. Uh, by uh, relying on, on static UE IP address allocation and non mapped IP traffic. It's already in, in the previous version of the, the core network. And also we support network slicing with NSSF and, and, and uh, multiple IMF in the, 
uh, in the scenario. Uh, in the in the release 1.5.0, we're very happy to support uh, multiple UPF in the same data bus. It will lay the foundation for the for the uh, uh, supporting the uncha low latency uh, scenario. Because in this case, you can have multiple UPF, one UPF in the edge and another UPF in the in, in the core. Uh, uh, how to say? Um, to prepare for the for the different use cases of the 5G, to fulfill different requirements, we cannot have one implementation to fit all, right? So uh, in this case, uh, we prepare and then we provide several possibilities so that the end user can pick one of them, which uh, which they, they think that is we fit the scenario. So in this case, we have three different uh, deployment scenario for the our core network. We we provide one minimal deployment with only AMF, SR, and UPF. And then we have the basic one with uh, UDI, UDM, and, and uh, AUSF. And the last one is the full implementation of the, of the core network with all the network function. And also with the same um, idea, we have different UPF flavor. We have very simple and easy to use UPF, which, which is uh, the, our um, in-house implementation as speaker you. We can see in, uh, in uh, most of the demo yesterday, and then we also have the, the uh, BPB UPF, which can provide a better uh, performance. We saw from yesterday from the demo from Christopher from AWS that we can achieve a very promising uh, performance around nine uh, Gbps per second. Yeah. And the last one is the P4 UPF from uh, ONF. We are working hard to, to make it work with a our core network. Actually, it's work for the control plane part, but for the user plane, for the for the traffic, we still have some problem with net networking. So we're trying to solve that and and to make it work with the uh, with the uh, SD traffic. Uh, also, we provide different uh, deployment option ranging from the traditional uh, with the uh, server and 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 virtual machine to the more uh, cloud native deployment with the uh, Chat. Uh, one of the most important thing we want to bring is uh, the stability and the, uh, how to say the, we validate all the implemented feature, not only with the professional tester, but also with the with OIG you know, so that we can have to an end-to-end OEI yeah, solution. And also we validated with cost UE. And also I'm very happy to, 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 to say that we make it work with not only the release 15, but also release 16 code UE with OEI Connect and OEI GNOB. Uh, we also so test with uh, several open source uh, run simulator. You can see here, just name a few, and also commercial GNOB and cost UE. Uh, for um, in recently, we focus on on how to stabilize our core network to prepare for the future. Uh, to do that, we we uh, 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 touch the most important difficult part of the of the uh, core network, which is NAS and and NGAP library. So we uh, improve that. And also on top of that, we provide some uh, customized API to make life easier for the end user. For example, you can provide API for user provisioning, provide customized API for uh, configuring the AMF and SMF. So based on that, we open a new path of the OI core network to integrate with Magma, as you can see in the in the demo uh, by our colleague Rohan yesterday. And also we, uh, we want to bring OAI core network to, to into another project. You can see in a couple of slides later. So for the roadmap, uh, 
you can check uh, from our website, but here I just highlight some important uh, item. For example, in the in the second and the third quarter of 2022, we already have, uh, for example, we released a PCF. We have a multiple multiple EPF in the in the same data path, so that we can support uh, uh, uplink uh, classifier. Uh, we have customized API. I already mentioned about that, and also we support uh, Ubuntu uh, 20 and 22 version. Uh, for the uh, fourth quarter 2022 on we continue to uh, to uh, bring some more feature. One of them is uh, for the location service procedure, as mentioned earlier by by foreign. It's actually ongoing. Uh, the implementation for the for the NGAP part in the AMF is already, I would say, uh, around eighty percent. Uh, we continue to to try to bring uh, support for the traffic steering and traffic redirection. And again, uh, I mentioned earlier that we want to integrate with uh, P4 EPF from uh, from ONF. And uh, you can see here the list of the, 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 the feature. Some important thing is mobility, IPv6 support, uh, redundant transmission support. And also important that we can we, we want to bring more network function into the ecosystem UDSF for the satellite implementation and WDAF so that the community can use not only the NWDAF from WLAP, but and WDAF from OEI, and also NEF, SCP, and network management function. Uh, some activity related to the core network, as mentioned earlier, uh, yesterday by Ifan and also Afid from uh, the Nook Foundation, that we uh, actively contributing to the testing for the magma. And one important task is that we also implementing the a new open source uh, 5G SA tester for the core network so that we not only testing the, the, the magma, but also testing OAI core network. And beside that, we also want to, to bring uh, OEI, which is fully 2 GPP compatible uh, 5G core network into the magma ecosystem so that we can, uh, how to say, uh, believe benefit for the for the for the not only the OEI community but also the, for the magma community and with the same idea we also try to bring OEI core network with either from ONF it's actually you see I put this put here and then as uh, mentioned yesterday by Ifan and 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 and, and the other that it's important to not only how to say to bring the, the, the core network to, to the other ecosystem. Uh, you can see here the list of some very useful link for the for the project. The project website, the Git repository, the some uh, video for tutorial and so with that I conclude my presentation and I'm happy to take the, the question. So uh, that variation of use cases, how does that uh, in the design of the core network software? Is the same software valid to be used on a very small versus very large deployment? Uh, is that a challenge in common uh, Thank you for the question. Actually, you see that uh, uh, our core network is designed in a way that we fit Hopefully, in in multiple scenario, it depends on on the on the end user to 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 deploy. Uh, for the question with the ONF, uh, in in the in the ONF ecosystem, the SD core, which is basically the five G core network, sit there to 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 communicate with the run part and and so on. We can try to how to say to replace that with the with our core network. Actually, we already have uh, the, as you can see here, that we already started some work to integrate the control plane part 
about our core network with the data plane part of the of the uh, SD fabric, which actually uh, one project from the from the from one part of the Ether project. So it's actually ongoing, but uh, we also want to to integrate the control plane part of our core network with the with the with the SD core from ONN. So I, I hope I can answer the question with that. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for me. Okay.